Hi there, good morning everyone. I hope that you're all feeling absolutely fine today. Nice to see the sun shining again. And today is another taste test. Something a little bit different today. I saw it and thought I shall have to have a go. It's from the Grace Food Company. And it's a uh, Grace Kitchens approved. And here it is, all the way from the West Indies. And it is cock flavoured soup. Right, the ingredients of such are dried noodles. Salt, fortified wheat flour, calcium carbonate, iron, niacin, thiamine, sugar, maltodextrin, onion powder, yeast extract, carrot powder, natural flavourings, rusk, cayenne pepper, black pepper, coriander, ginger, pimento, cassia, mace, Dried red bell pepper, powder, stabiliser, guar gum, parsley, acetic and citric acid, colour, paprika extract, celery extract, chilli powder seasoning, chilli, cumin, garlic, salt and oregano. So as you can see there's quite a lot of stuff in it. But no mention of any cock or any chicken. So... Add the contents of the pouch to 500 millilitres of cold water, bring to the boil, simmer for five minutes or until noodles are cooked, which I've already done. So here we are folks, and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that without it going all over the place, but this is Grace's cock flavoured soup. It's quite a thin soup, as you can see. We'll see how this tastes. A Caribbean favourite. No added MSGs. No artificial colours, flavours or preservatives. Right, what can I say about this? On first taste I would say that it is very, very watery. Very watery indeed. And also very salty. Contemplating the amount of ingredients which I just read out, the only thing you can really taste is uh, salt and water. But on saying that, On saying that, it's not an unpleasant taste. I suppose, if I'm honest, there is a little bit of the um, bell pepper coming through. So, what do I think of that? If anyone's interested, you can find it in the Caribbean section of the Asda supermarket. And the reason I bought it is because it is 50 pence on offer at the moment. The more I'm eating it, the more pleasant it's becoming. I bet it would be nice as the base of a, a Caribbean stew.
it's warming it's certainly got that salty taste and now the pepper the chilli's coming through more so what can I say the texture is out <laughs> as of water just like most soups but perhaps it's just lacking that thickness that a lot of soups in the UK have still no complaints whatsoever the first mouthful was quite disappointing but the more I'm getting into it the nicer it's becoming So, have any of you lot tried this? And if you have, tell me what you thought in the comment box below. I'd be very interested to, to, to find out what you think. As I say, it's a difficult thing to judge. It's like um, it's like a consomme, really. But as I say, very nice. Now, you don't have to sit here watching me eat all of this, of course. So I shall leave this one here for now. And I would like to thank you all once again for watching this, for taking the time. Please feel free to leave a comment. Hit the like button if you've liked it. And please feel free to subscribe to the channel. It's a very eclectic channel as I keep saying. There are a lot more different things planned for the future. Certainly over the next few months. Um, Thank you all so much once again. 121 subscribers now. Which some people may say, well that's not a lot, but it means the world to me. So thank you all very, very much. Namaste. So from me, and from Grace's cock flavoured noodle soup, we will say, Goodbye for now.